Welcome! Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we'll be talking about distribution of a variable. Now, in previous videos or the last video that you watched perhaps, we talked about what statistics was and how the goal was to use data to make an informed decision. And when we get into data, we will be collecting pieces of information from individuals or units or subjects, and those pieces of information are related to a variable. So a variable is that piece of information that you're interested in. Now the distribution of a variable is going to be all possible values for the variable and how often that happens. So that can be for either categorical or quantitative data. Now, if you don't know what that is, I have a separate video talking about the definition of categorical and quantitative, but essentially all variables have a distribution. So one that happens most frequently is something called the bell-shaped distribution, or we refer to it as the normal distribution. Lots of things follow the normal distribution, or they look like that when they're graphed. Now, things like height, weight, head circumference, IQ, all of those follow that distribution. That's why this one is so well known. Now, when I say follow, 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 essentially it just means that's what it looks like. That's the shape of the distribution. If you were to graph all of those observations and values, that would be the shape of it. It follows that normal distribution. Now, knowing a variable's distribution is a really important part of statistics because it helps us to know how to do the analysis for that particular uh, data type. So in future videos and throughout the course of these videos in this series, we will discuss based on this type of data and based on it following this type of distribution, these are the appropriate methods to use to do our analysis and ultimately make those informed decisions. So see you in those future videos.